Hello and welcome to Physical Electronics Lab. In this experiment, you will learn how to connect half-wave rectifier circuit. We come to objective to study the rectification characteristic of semiconductor diode. And in theory, we have a half-wave rectifier. We have an input signal, IC signal, and the half-wave rectifier, which is by simple at forward bias diode. And the output will be just a positive halves of input signal. We come to the circuit, we have supply and forward diode and uh, output load. As we see this uh, the waveform, input waveform, we have a uh, sine wave and the output we have just positive cycle and the negative cycle when it comes by this side it blocks the passage of negative half. The above circuit was uh, rectification without filtration. Now we will just add a filter uh, which is a capacitor. We'll add a capacitor in parallel with an output load to filter this input signal to make it better. Here we have input wave and the output a wave without a capacitor. And with a capacitor it becomes better so here as we see it become charged and discharged with capacitor it become better and uh, doesn't let uh, the signal to go to zero value we come to procedure section step number one tells us connect the circuit of figure two to set the sensual input voltage 20 volt peak to peak value uh, with a frequency of 100 hertz using diode 1 and 4000 7. We will use multisim software to connect the circuit, which is the first circuit without capacitor. This one. We come to the multisim software. We'll open multisim. We'll place components. First of all, we will place a ground. Then we come to signal voltage source, IC voltage. After that we come to diodes. We'll just write the number of diodes. 1N 4007. Then we will place a resistor. 1K value. We have peak value, we'll just write 10 volt peak and peak to peak will be 20 volts. We come to frequency, we'll set to 100 hertz and we'll just click on OK and we'll ground our circuit. Then we come to instrument bar, here we have oscilloscope, we'll just place to show the waveforms of input signal and output signal on the output we have just resistor which is after diode let's run and, the, and see the results we'll double click on this we'll just click on reverse to be white and we will choose normal we will decrease time base to 2 millisecond per division so we have 5 squares will be multiplied by 2 millisecond each division is 2 millisecond so it will be 10 millisecond 1 over 10 millisecond will be 100 hertz if we see the input signal this is input signal we have grounded the output signal voltage uh, scale set to 5 volt per division for uh, squares 1 2 3 4 multiply by 5 will be 20 volt peak to peak positive half is 10 volt and negative half is 10 volt now we come to the 
output signal and we see that the output waveform is only positive half is shown to us and the negative half is eliminated and in the positive half we have 9 volts 1.8 square multiplied by 5 will be approximately 9 volts that 1 volt or 0.7 volt is uh, dissipated by this diode this is why we see only 9 volts here 9.3 maybe 0.2 so we come to step number one of procedure. Step number two tells us sketch the input and output waveforms. As we see, we will just uh, sketch the input, the output waveform. Then we come to record the following value. The peak value of the rectified voltage is 9 volts, as we see here. 9 or 9.3 volts after that we have the average DC value we will just now place a voltmeter on the output resistor and we see its value will be how much we come to indicator voltmeter vertical voltmeter we will place in parallel with this Now we see the average DC value is 2.8 volt and the frequency of the rectified voltage output frequency is same as input frequency because this ripple up to this ripple it's time like input signal after this we come to step number four it tells us Insert shunt capacitor with value of 10 microfarad as shown in figure 2, 3 and sketch the input and output voltages. We will place a capacitor in parallel with the output resistor and we will see the input and output waveforms. So let's place. We come to place basic. We come to capacitor. We'll write 10 micro and just will place here in parallel with output resistor just will run again and we will see the input and output waveform now both are zero we will see the first one this is the input waveform and the output waveform will be like this so in this state the capacitor will not let the waves to bridge zero as before so here in first ripple the capacitor will charge and when the wave reaches zero the capacitor will start to discharge until the next uh, ripple come again and so on as shown in this picture we have input in this uh, waveform we have without capacitor which was only positive ripple and with capacitor we have the charge and discharge of capacitor value to the ground so if we see this value the peak value of the rectified voltage now we will see the peak value peak value is same as before it's probably 9 volts and the average DC value of the rectified voltage before was 2.8 now become 6.6 .6 volt DC and the peak to peak ripple voltage we will now see how to calculate peak to peak ripple voltage so it means here up to here how much is the voltage we know our voltage scale is 5 volt per division and it's approximately one division So now we will just change the capacitor value by 22 and 100 and we will see the value of peak to peak ripple voltage. I will just come and replace components. Twenty two micro. Run again. As we see peak to peak ripple value it become probably like 3 volts I think yeah approximately 3 volts because this 0.6 multiplied by 5 will be 3 volts
and before was how much was 5 volts now we will just change this 22 microfarad by 100 microfarad and we see it's big to big local value so now it become only point to multiply by 5 volt which is 1 volt peak to peak ripple value so it become much better than before also its average DC value corrected to be better before was only 6.6 .6, now become 8.9 volt DC so this is the final step of procedure thanks for watching this video